I have returned to annoy the internet with my presence. Hi everyone, Ooh. Hi everyone, it's Kat. So today I wanted to make a video where I cooked for you all and I was trying to think of a really simple recipe that I could do and I decided on spaghetti, which is one of my favorite foods. I'm a big pasta person, I love it, it's awesome. And I'm going to show you the way I like to make spaghetti with a little bit of a twist. I'm gonna make my own sauce, which I have not done before. So stay tuned if you see how that works out. So for the sauce, you're going to need a can of San Marzano tomatoes, about a half of an onion, two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of olive oil, and some oregano. Where the hell did I put the oregano? Oh, there it is, the oregano. So I'm gonna do some prep, and first I'm going to half the onion. We're gonna pretend that didn't just take a whole minute to peel. And now we're going to half the onion down the equator. I need new knives. It says just to put the whole half onion in there, but in order to break down the flavors, I'm just gonna roughly chop it. There. And we'll save this half of the onion for when we cook the meat. Now the next thing you're gonna need is two cloves of garlic, which I've got right here. And then what you're going to do in order to get the clove itself out of the papery skin is you're going to take the back of your knife and the back of your hand and just like that. So then once again, to get the flavors to come out, I'm just going to roughly chop the garlic. So now that my prep is done, I'm gonna transition over to the stove. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add the tomatoes to the pot. And then you're gonna throw in the garlic and the onion. Guess you got measuring spoons. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Oregano, dried oregano because I don't wanna buy fresh herbs. And of course, salt and pepper. Bring this concoction up to a simmer, so right now I'm going to put it on high and wait for it to start to bubble and boil, and then I'm going to turn the heat down. So this is what it looks like now, right, as it's starting to heat up. And now it's starting to boil, so I'm going to take down the heat to about four, and I'm just going to let it do its thing. So we're going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to crush the tomatoes, and then we're going to let it simmer for another 30 minutes. Mom, what are you doing? I'm checking on your tomatoes. I think they're, they're fine. I think they're bubbling too hard. They're bubbling too hard? It's supposed to simmer for 15 minutes and it's supposed to break down the... I'm not supposed to break them until the 15 minute mark. It's been five. <laughs> Patience. They're down a little bit. No! Yes. Mm. It smells good. It does. I, I agree with on, you. I put it on three. Okay, that's acceptable. We're gonna come back over here to the prep station to cut up this half of the onion so that I can cook it down with the meat. I'm gonna cut off this root end and prepare my eyes. Before I go any further into this, I'm going to dice the onion to the best of my ability and try and keep my mouth closed because whenever I don't, I start to tear up. I'm horrible with onions. Usually I have someone else chop them for me. Well, that went surprisingly well. Oh, how did that get there? Anyway, the tomatoes are crushed, so I'm going to move this over there. Now, while that simmers for 30 more minutes, I'm gonna start cooking the meat. You can use any meat you want, or no meat in your spaghetti, but I choose to use the sweet Italian sausage because I like the flavor the pork fat gives the spaghetti itself. It's my favorite way to have it. Throw the meat in. And then you're gonna turn the heat up because I forgot to turn it up when I was at, when I moved the pot. And I'm gonna bring it to about medium heat. And you're gonna start to break up the meat so that it all cooks evenly. And after about maybe six minutes, 
almost all the pink is gone and you're left with a beautiful golden brown color like that. Once that's done cooking, you're gonna turn off the heat and transfer it to a plate. That's there. Now that we have a lot of fond, I think is what it's called, or the brown stuff from the meat that takes, makes things taste really good, we're going to start cooking our mushrooms and onions in said oil and extra fat. So I'm gonna throw in my onions and my mushrooms. And we're gonna let that cook down until they look smaller and slightly more caramelized. Oh, and we're gonna turn the heat back on, back to the medium heat. And then we're just gonna let it do its thing. So it's about halfway done cooking. And now I'm gonna to start to season it with salt and pepper. And some oregano. Now I've got about 10 minutes left on the sauce and these are probably going to cook down within the next five. So now I wanna start thinking about my noodles. And I could make my own noodles, but I am sorely under-equipped. So, we're gonna go with the box today. You can use any kind of noodle you want. I like the linguine, I like big, beefy noodles in my spaghetti, but you are more than welcome to choose angel hair, if you like that kind of thing. So now you got your water filled up, you wanna salt the water, and the salt shaker isn't gonna be enough for this, so we're gonna bring out the big guns. Kosher salt. You wanna put about, you don't need that much salt. That much salt in it. You don't need that much. So bring that to a boil. Now as for the sauce, it's been simmering. It's been very patient. And I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna come in and mash it a little bit so that all the onion pieces kind of break down. That looks like about the right consistency. So now that the sauce is done, we're just gonna and mix it in. And we're also going to turn the heat way down so that it'll simmer. And that doesn't look like quite enough sauce. I didn't make enough sauce. It's a good thing I've got backup. I bought this just in case it failed. And this didn't exactly fail, but we need a little more sauce. So you're gonna turn the heat down to about a four, and you're gonna let this whole concoction simmer on the stove, waiting to receive the noodles. If the water will just hurry up and boil! Mix this every now and then so that it doesn't burn, and that way you will have awesome pasta. The water, it is boiling, so now it is time to add the noodles. Now that it's all in there and getting now that it's all in there, we are going to wait for six to seven minutes. All right, all right. So the noodles are done. Now all I have to do is dump them in here. So now what you wanna do from here is just mix the noodles into the sauce, like that. And that's all she wrote. Now it's time to plate up and try this. And if you want, you can throw some freshly game of Parmesan on there. Voila. Now to taste it, I'm wondering how the sauce turned out. I mean, I cheated a little, but we'll see. I mean, it's my favorite kind of pasta. It's spaghetti with pork. There's not really any ways that I can go wrong with this, but if you don't like pork or you don't like onions or you don't like garlic or something like that, you can always modify the recipe. Fun thing about cooking is that it's entirely unique to you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time I post. Bye.